eggs, cinnamon, vanilla, and banana. A healthy French toast, guys. All right, really weird. I got up at five this morning and I thought I would have been fine, but no, um, I got up and I've never felt that tired in my entire life. It was like painful to, to get up. It was weird. So I went back to bed and I woke up again around eight. And then I stayed in bed. Now it's 10.30. I'm really struggling with this. I'm not in a bad mood today, uh, but I'm really, really struggling with this. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I'm not going to bed on time. Yeah, duh. I am going to do my morning routine. Get this day started because it's going to be a busy one and a productive one. Guys, my morning routine was amazing and I learned something today. So let me explain to you. I wouldn't say learn. I'd say remember. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know, if I sleep for seven hours, if I try to get up, I can't do it. Um, I just feel dead. I cannot stay up. I think because my sleep schedule is not timed. It's waking me up in the wrong time of my sleep. Seven hours, 30 minutes. Great. Six hours. Great. So I'm thinking four hours is what I got last night. Four hours is the equivalent of seven hours. Only it's more intense because it's less sleep. So that's one thinking happened. Then I woke up. I, I couldn't function. I couldn't think. And I just remember I had to I had to go go to bed for a long time now probably a month and a half two months maybe i, I think i don't know we'll just say a month um, my morning routine's been kind of iffy right it's not been consistent it's not been great um and here's what i've learned today so i haven't been doing exercise right there's six things there's meditation affirmations visualization exercise reading and journaling so those are the six things you do in an hour for the last month what i've been doing is kind of not doing exercise because it's in the morning. I don't want to exercise in the morning. Nobody wants to exercise the first thing they do when they wake up. So I've been kind of skipping it. I believe what that has done, and I just realized this today, what that has done is it has um, put something in my mind like I'm selling myself short subconsciously, right? Therefore, that's going to translate to the whole routine and it won't be as effective as it should be. And that's what's been happening. If success is my house, okay, because it requires a lot of resources and a lot of uh, time and effort to build a house, okay? If success is my house and I'm building my house, well, if I build my house on, you know, like normal land, it's gonna erode away and I have to have a foundation. The morning routine is my foundation, but check this out. If I stop doing the morning routine, my foundation goes away. If it's five years from now, my house is built. If I take the morning routine away, if I take that, that mental clarity away, you know, everything's gonna fall down is going to fall down. And if it falls down the wrong way at the right time while I'm living in the house, it's going to kill me, right? So I need to make sure that this base is strong. You know, I'm starting to build my house. I got a couple walls up, maybe a toilet then. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a process. And if I fail to maintain mental clarity and, and uh, determination and stuff like that, then it'll come crumbling down. There's nothing I can do about it. So I need to make sure that I have this base going on good going strong and the base is my morning routine because it keeps me focused it gets rid of the negative thoughts i'm a naturally negative person it's very important that i do it and i'm glad i've learned what i did today so on the way here i had to go to my apartment and get some stuff like like uh what was it um dishes not dishes pans pots you know stuff to cook with because i need those some meal prep aldi doesn't have everything i need so i gotta go to walmart pick up the rest of the things, the eggs and bananas. They have bananas, but all the bananas are green. So I'm actually changing the meal plan up a little bit. I'm uh, getting rid of meal five, the rice and beef, and I'm replacing that with uh, spinach Italian pasta. It's gonna be so good. Then I'm replacing the pancakes at the end of the day with healthy French toast. So it's gonna be great. All right, guys, I'm here meal prepping. I got the pancakes over here, but I have to show you two things. Look at this Italian pasta I made. It's got beef in it noodles, steamed spinach, and onions. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning in there, Italian seasoning, and it's gonna be amazing. It smells so good. Then over here, I got the French toast cooking. This is uh, nothing but eggs, cinnamon, vanilla, and banana. Very healthy, whole grain, low sodium bread. A healthy French toast, guys. Healthy French toast, the last meal, because I like to eat something sweet the very last time of the day. All right, guys, overall, I would rate today's success Probably a four out of 10. Why do I say that? I didn't vlog a lot and it took me six hours to meal prep in total, like to get the groceries, get my stuff, get everything cooked and everything clean because our dishwasher's broken. I don't have anything to do. So I had to do all the dishes by my hand. Then when I started to work on TikToks, I got stressed out because 
it seems like it's plateauing and then again it always seems like it's plateauing to me yeah my leg just started bleeding so i gotta bandage it up before i go to bed so i'm pulling myself back together i've been through a really like rough couple weeks not doing my morning routine it's really kind of screwed me up i'm gonna fix all that though but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i'm sorry if it wasn't the best vlog in the world please hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications if you haven't already and drop a like all right i'll see you guys tomorrow good night